Hello, welcome back to Steve's Retirement Corner. The pension myth. You know, I've seen a lot of videos on here lately about the death of the pension and how the pension is going away. How about the once, uh, just about everybody had one and stuff like that. And, and you know, and that's, there's a lot of truth to some of it, and there's a lot of truth, there are a lot of falsehoods to a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, I guess the pension is going away, the private pension. Companies don't offer it no more. It's too costly for them. Too many rules and regulations they got to follow for. But right now, well, as of 2019, we had just as many people had a pension as had it in 1975. <laughs> the percentage wise it's gone down but actual numbers is it almost exact same it's only a few a few a few hundred thousand difference so it's a little over 33 million back in 75 it's just under now or in 2019 that's on what uh what the heck uh bureau, bureau of labor labor management or something like that government office and that's according to their stats so and um you know so just as many people numbers wise got one now has had one before and we never had that many had them before it was never over 50 percent of the country had one never you know i think it was like 30 some percent was the most in the country that had one so i mean it just the fallacy of years ago, people had it easy because they had a pension to rely on. It's just total BS. It's never been like that. And then you hear so much about these uh, public pensions, firefighters and cops and teachers and stuff to get these big pensions and stuff. And those are outliers. And that's why you hear about them. The average average pension here just doesn't make that much money you know he's not raking in hundreds of thousands a year he's just not you know i was watching this video of a guy that that's all he does is research uh uh failed pension plans and uh he said that the average uh private uh, public pension here only makes 1600 a month which is a pile of change and you can keep it for the rest of your life i don't care if you live with it be 100 or 15 you got it you know you always got it so and that's a big that's a big big deal especially when you retire and you got no money coming in i mean that 1600 can make a big difference but I mean, that's the average. So you got people to make a lot less and people to make a lot more. So, but you, they're just not living in the lap of luxury just because they got a pension. How's that? That's that's a fallacy people think about. But, I mean, I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't be where I'm at now if I uh, if they didn't offer a pension. I'd have went somewhere else. Because it, it, it's such a big boost to your retirement. It gives you the traditional th third leg that they talk about all the time. It's another thing you'll... Uh, uh, these financial advice companies have come up with to sell money to you. Or make take your money from you. How's that? You know, you got Social Security, a pension. And then you got your little savings that you put away. You know. That's just all market employed by them people. That's all it is. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, people just didn't have the pensions. I mean, throughout history. And before, you know, the 40s, before the Second World War, a lot of this stuff started after the Second World War. You know, the middle class, pensions, stuff like that is a, uh, it was all marketing strategies that made up after the Second World War. Because Fordian, I mean, almost nobody had any, any kind of security. You know. And uh, 
Well, I mean, what the Social Security Administration only come into office in the 30s, didn't it? I think it was in the 30s. So, I mean, before that, I mean, everybody was left to their own accord. And uh, it's the same way now. I mean, the overwhelming majority of people are just, just getting by day to day. You know? I mean, you just don't, there's just not a ton of places out there with a pension. But uh, numbers wise, actual numbers wise, it's almost the exact same for what, 80, 90, oh, 15, for oh, almost 50 years, the numbers pretty much stayed steady. So, the, the, the big myth of huge pensions and everybody having one is just all total BS. But that's not to say that they don't help. But, you know, it, you shouldn't use that as a, as a gripe to why you can't make it. How's that? Because it just wasn't overwhelmingly there to begin with. Well, that's my two cents. You'll tell me where I went wrong at. We'll talk at you later.